good morning good morning folks welcome to my youtube channel um this is also a geometry on straight line um, for grade eight and nine now we're going to look at the angles around the point now if you're looking we have lines here we have this line a b b d b e b c all these lines they meet at this point this is the point of intersection where they intersect so at this point this point we call it the point of intersection all the angles around the point this point they add up to 360 it says angle around a point add up to 360 so this point it's b so this angle is b1 b2 b3 b4 so when you add all these angles they add up to 360 and we call its angles around the point they add up to 360 look here angle b1 plus angle b2 angle b3 angle b4 they are equal to 360 and the reason angles around a point okay let's look at this example now it says solve for x and give reason now here we have points we have lines that they meet this line meets here 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 so all these lines they meet at this point and we know all the angles around this point they add up to 360 so our unknown here is only x we're given an angle here 100 120 and when we see the box there it is a right angle it's 90 degrees so in order to get x there this is what we're going to do we're going to say x plus 120 plus 100 degrees they're equivalent to 360 no I missed one angle plus 90 they're equivalent to 360 I said this plus this plus this plus this equal to 360 the reason will say angles around a point right so next what we do we add the like terms so we have x 120 plus 100 it's a 3 it's 220 plus 190 plus 90 it's going to be 310 equal to 360 and then and then we'll say x is equal to 360 360 degrees minus 310 x is going to be 50 degrees so this means this angle is what is 50 degrees right let's take another example here's another example here we are looking for the angle here We are looking for the angle X. We are looking for X here. Um, this simply means that this angle is equivalent to this. Because it's 1X and 1X. So if this is 60 and this is 60 as well. But here this angle is 3 times bigger than these ones. So if this one is 60, this one is going to be 3 times 60. It's 3 times bigger so the only angle we are given here is this it's 90 and the rest are all the same since we are looking for just x so we can do the angles around the point we'll add all of these equal to 360 so we'll say 3x plus x plus x plus 90 degrees equal to 360 degrees and our reason it's going to be angles around a point so all these are like terms
so it's going to be 5x 3x plus 1x it's 4x plus 1x it's 5x plus 90 degrees equal to 360 we'll say 5x is equal to 360 minus 90 so here you have to use the calculator grade 8 and 9 do not use your mind trust the calculator in all cases so I'm looking for my calculator we'll say 360 minus 90 360 minus 90 it's 270 degrees and then 270 degrees we divide it by 5 270 degrees divided by 5 so we'll have 5x here and we will divide by 5 both sides so x is going to be what 54 degrees so x is 54 this angle is 54 degrees and this angle is 54 degrees this one it's 3 times x which is 3 times 54 uh, that will be um, 3 times 54 times 3 it's 162 so this angle it's going to be 162 and when you add all of them when you say 162 um, plus 54 degrees plus 54 degrees plus 90 they'll give you 360 Here's another example here. We are given um, there are four lines, this line and this line and this line and this line. They meet at this point. So this is a meeting point, point of intersection. So what are we given? We are given 90, the angle there is 90 and this angle is 90. And the unknown here is x and the unknown here is 4x so we're just looking for x so if we got the value here it's 30 that means here it's 4 times 30 so this size this angle is 4 times bigger than this one so what we're going to do we're going to use the angles around the point so we'll say here 4x plus x plus 90 degrees plus 90 degrees equal to 360 so I added all of them I added all of them and then they're equal to 360 and the reason for that it's angles around a point so it's going to be 5x plus 180 degrees equal to 360 so we'll have 5x and we transpose the 180 we're going to have 360 degrees minus 180 degrees 5x is equal to 180 and then what we're going to do we're going to use our calculator so we'll say I'm looking for the calculator so we'll say 180 divided by 5 it's 36 so we'll divide by 5 both sides divide by 5 both sides so it will be 36 degrees so the answer here is 36 this means that this angle is 36 degrees this one it's 4 times 36 4 times 36 um, 36 times 4 it's 144 so this angle it's 4 times bigger than that one. let's go to the next one next diagram it looks scary but it's not what are we looking for here we're given this angle and this angle they're equal to 120 and and they're both equal to 120 they are equal but they're not vertical opposite and this and this is x they're equivalent and this is the half of this it's 
x over 2 that means it's a half of this let's say if you have 30 here this angle it will be 30 here as well but here it will be 30 divided by 2 which is going to be the half of this angle or this angle now all these points they meet here all these lines they meet here at this point all these they meet and we have only one unknown which is x so what are we going to do here we're going to add all of them so we're going to say x plus x plus x over 2 x over 2 guys it's the same as 0 0.5 x plus 120 degrees plus 120 degrees equal to 360 and the reason for that we use angles around a point so this is going to be 1x plus 1x it's 2x plus half it's going to be 2,5x or it's going to be 5 over 2x so plus 120 plus 120 it's 240 degrees equal to 360 so we have 2,5x equal to 360 um, 360 degrees we transpose that to 40 and it's going to be 2 comma 5 um, 360 minus 360 minus 240 it's 120 degrees and um, there's X there 2 comma 5 X equal to 120 we divide by 2 comma 5 both sides so the 120 divide 120 divided by 2,5 it's going to be what 48 degrees so that means this angle is 48 degrees this is 48 degrees and here it's going to be 48 divided by 2 which is going to be 48 divided by 2 it's 24 degrees so the angle here is 24 degrees